Hey guys, Tommy Drone here. This is the Unique Breeze controller. It's actually a uh, G3 controller, and uh, it's made by a brand called GameSir. So this is the GameSir case that I purchased separately. I think I only paid like $12, maybe $15. It wasn't too, too much. Um, got this from a website called GearBest. Uh, and, uh, but the, it comes with a case. You buy, well, you're gonna buy the case. But the case is nice, you can just put everything in here and zip it up. So, the um, this controller I got by itself. And I bought it on ebay.com, uh, 40 bucks, uh, because I already had a headset. I didn't need to pay an additional 40 bucks when I already have a headset that works just as good. So if you already have a headset, save yourself 40 bucks and just buy it, the controller by itself on eBay. All right, so setting up the controller is actually pretty darn simple. Just like with any uh, Bluetooth, you're gonna set up your Bluetooth with it. Uh, so it's called a G3 controller. Just to give you a heads up, I tried to buy the regular G3 controller that is made by GameSir, and I bought that controller, but it did not work with the Breeze. So it looks like they programmed this particular controller only working with the Breeze, but it does allow me to play video games with it as well on my phone, so uh, you can do that. But um, first thing you're gonna do, obviously, you turn on your Breeze. And uh, next, we go ahead and set this up. So let me go ahead and start recording on this. But basically, um, to to um, but to use it is actually pretty simple. It's very bright out here, so I'm going to be recording this on my uh, phone screen here. D DJI. Uh, okay, okay, and start. Okay, so I'm recording everything I'm doing on this phone right now. All right, good. And so basically, just like just like any other time, you're going to connect to your breeze, like you would like normal. Uh, you connect to your breeze. So I'll go ahead and uh, connect to the breeze here. Um, there it is. Hit that connect. Alrighty, and the breeze is connected. And this is how easy it is to set up the controller. Watch this. I just go to my breeze app. So I go there and um, click next. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started. I'll choose this and watch this. Very, very simple, right? Next, I turn on my controller. So I turn the controller on, and it's gonna shake in just a second. I'm gonna choose the uh, controller in this case. I'm not gonna use the headset. And watch this, as soon as I hit experience now, the controller will shake. Well, it's supposed to shake anyway. All right, so it didn't shake. Well, normally it shakes, um, probably because I just got done using it. But see here where it's a little icon there? I'll click on that. And now it's gonna search for the game controller, which is already on. And there you go, it's connected. And so now it's connected. So it really does connect just that fast. Um, I was already connected earlier. So um, I think that's why it didn't connect right, right away. But if you're starting up for the first time, it'll connect automatically to your phone. And uh, just like any Bluetooth, you'll set up. And once you connect the Bluetooth for the first time, you're good to go. So using the controller is far easier. What I like about the controller, what I think is better with the controller, is controlling the camera is much easier. You can control the camera with the, with this little button right here. And so that makes a big difference in my opinion. And I'm not going to use the uh, FPV. I'm not going to do FPV. Although FPV works okay, what I found is as soon as you go past a certain point the FPV doesn't work as well so um, but now I'm connected that easily and um, let's go ahead and all you gotta do is hit the start button for three seconds one two three and up it goes and up I go so that's simple